that you guys made that move though. So how's the transition been for you guys? It's been really nice. I mean, it's just, it, first of all, it's just really nice being in a place that wants you like that, that, that's a, it's a big difference. And you know, the number of jurisdictions that actually want a crypto company right now is depressingly small. Um, that's not to say all of them like despise the idea of it necessarily, but you know, for most, it's just like, what's the regulatory framework for crypto there? The answer is like, there isn't one, like they haven't figured that out yet. Sort of TBD. And that's like not a great position to be in. Um, because it's like, you know, what can you do then to be compliant? The answer is no one knows. And, um, that, that, that's a total mess. So it's really nice, um, to see that change. Like that, that's been a, a real godsend. Um, and I, you know, really appreciative of the relationship with the government here. Um, and it's, it's super convenient. Open borders, surprisingly big deal. Again, it's like weird that that is such a big deal nowadays, but but it is like being in a place that you can get into and out of easily is worth a ton. And so just on, on a lot of fronts, it's been a really great move. That, that's great to hear. And what, what do you think is the reason on why so many jurisdictions are, are shunning crypto given the opportunity here? I mean, we're talking about, you know, a market. I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, it's fallen about a, a trillion dollars or so, but it's still a market. That's it's still big. Or truly, yeah, it's still a huge market that can be very profitable, especially for these jurisdictions to get, you know, tax revenue. What is the yep. reason they are, they are, sh they are shunning, shunning this? So it's interesting. And part of the answer to that is many of them aren't actively shunning it, right? For many of them, they're like, whatever, we're going to, you know, we're a regulated jurisdiction. If you want to do financial activity here, you need a license. And then they're like, but, but you don't have a crypto license yet, right? Like you haven't, you haven't made one yet. And they're like, yeah, I guess that's right. And you're like, all right. So, if you need a license to operate and there doesn't exist a license, then like, you know, like you can sort of see where this is going. And and I think it's a sort of typical response to that. It's like, oh, that's, that's kind of awkward, isn't it? You know? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, you know, I, I think it's kind of awkward. And it's a little bit of a, like it's sort of surprising that most people's responses aren't like, oh shit, we'll fix that. Right? It, it, it's sort of like, right acknowledgement of the awkwardness absent much of a clear plan for, for addressing it. Um, and and that, that sort of is just how it is right now in a number of places. But, uh, you know, it, it's going to get better. Like, this isn't... It, it, things aren't, aren't going to be permanently fucked. Um, uh, it, it just it takes time. Like, it's, the industry is moving fast. It's going to take years for most jurisdictions to actually come out with a regulatory framework. Um, and it's messy. It's messy PR-wise. It's messy on so many aspects for, for jurisdictions. And even if on net they're really excited for it, like they are just going to feel conflicted and nervous. And that, that's not going to speed up the process. Right. And, and, and that makes sense. It's, it is frustrating, though. I mean, I, I can relate. Like with, with us, for example, you know, we... We did our, our public offering and we had, there was a lot of back and forth, back and forth with the SEC. Yep. And uh, surprisingly, they did ultimately qualify the offering. But I just, the, the frustrating part for me is like, as innovators, as entrepreneurs, as people that want to create jobs, I, I would expect that more jurisdictions would be embracing of, of people that are building companies, like I said, innovating and it's just it's disappointing that that doesn't happen as much but it is great that you guys found a home uh there in the bahamas yeah it's it has been great and i totally feel you like you, you could imagine a pretty reasonable alternate world where there is just a ton of competition for, you know to get the industry and, and i think right. we are going to see things like that i just think it, it's going to be it's going to take time like it, it's going to be slow moving and and I don't think people even necessarily will, you know, I don't think regulators will be like, oh, it's going to be slow moving. And I endorse that as the correct thing. I'm glad that it's mo slow moving. Like, I don't think that's how they'll feel. Um, right. I, I think it's going to be more of like, you know, that's how it is. You know, that's like, we, we acknowledge the downsides in it. But, but frankly speaking, that's how things are. And like, you know, we'll, 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 we'll have to work with that. 